Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Teaching with Mrs. Farad. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification signal to receive updates on my videos. In today's video, we will discuss how to complete an Asking Questions Reading Response Journal. Asking questions is a very important skill that good readers must have. Good readers ask questions to help better understand the text and to give a purpose to their reading. Good readers ask questions before reading, while reading, and after reading. When to ask questions? When you don't understand something, when you don't know what something means, when you wonder about something, when you're curious about something, and when you are confused or need clarification. Use the following sentence frames to help you when writing your question. You can find this page in your reading response journal. When coming up with questions, you should come up with questions that are thin and thick. Thin questions can be answered by info in the text. For example, what did Nick rename the pen in Frindle? This is a question that the answer is in the book. You just have to go to the part of the book where you find where he first named the pen. Thick questions can only be answered by thinking, reasoning, making sense, and putting information together. An example is, why does Nick enjoy being a troublemaker? This question is not straightforward. You won't find the answer just by reading the, the book. You have to think beyond the words. Why is it that he has so much fun being a troublemaker? I will be looking to make sure that you are including both type of questions in your journal. Reading task. As you are reading your chapter book, think of questions to ask, either thick or thin questions. When you have finished reading for at least 30 minutes, select five questions and write them in your reading response journal. A way to help you keep track of your questions is to use sticky notes. Let's look at some examples of what your reading response journal should look like. Remember to always put your heading, the title of the book you're reading, the chapters read, the date, and the skill that we're working on. Here are some examples of questions that you could ask. Pause the video now and take a few minutes to read the examples. Here's another example. Pause the video now and take a few minutes to read the examples. Thank you for joining me on this fun lesson. Hope to see you next time.